Hey guys. All right, we're back like we promised for part two of the fire truck, which is going to be Sharpie. This is one that has a lot of overlapping stuff. So do you want to take your time and be careful? You don't want to just throw it together and hope it all ends well. All right, I'm going to get the things that are on top of the truck, like the bars and the ladders first, because they are overlapping other things. And that way, if they already have their Sharpie, I will not go through them, hopefully. And I don't know for sure, but I have a better chance of doing it right if I have already done it with Sharpie. Okay. All right. Now, I'm going to go down here with my very awesome bumpers. <laughs> there we are. Okay. Now from here, these wheels are really the last thing on their level because there's nothing else intersecting with them. So I'm going to go ahead and do my wheels. And I might, as a Sharpie, try to pull the other two back a little bit because I did want them to be a little bit further up. It's a little bit less of the circle showing. Okay, they're a little misshapen, but you know, nothing that's so bad we're gonna have a come apart about it. Okay, there's this. Okay, from here, I'm gonna go and get the big outlines of the truck parts. So I'm gonna go up and over. You'll notice I'm turning the paper as I Sharpie. That is absolutely a great method of using instead of trying to torque your hands in a way that doesn't um, feel natural or easy. So don't be afraid to like, oh, well, I mean, I was drawing this way, so it has to stay this way. No, as long as you know where you are on the picture. Oop, I'm going to get this light real quick. As long as you know where you are in the picture, you're fine. You can always adjust and rotate as you're working. Same way as when you're cutting. All right, from here, I'm going to come and do the stuff on the front cab. So I've got my windows and I've got my division for my door so I'm going to go divide that door and I'm not going to go through it All right. and my awesome awesome lights I think I'm going to make a couple like lights to pretend like it was shining because it's so much more fun if it's currently going all right, now I need to do these ladders next because those are going to be important. And you'll notice I am not sharpening through the bar to the other bar. I'm sharpening the recess, the part that's in between. That's up to you. I think it looks cleaner and it looks more like a solid form. However, if that's really hard for you and you're having trouble, then it's okay to go ahead and do the line straight through. All right, so I've done the arm. I'm going to come and get my very awesome bucket basket. Now, I am also going to do where these come through. So in order to show you the thickness there, I'm going to do the inside just like I did with the other one where I traced the inside part, but I didn't show you the extra. 
that way. It's nice and clean and a solid part. Okay, now come down across. I ended up making the basket a little bit taller just because I really had it lined up right here. And once that ladder was a little bit thicker, I did not like it as much. Okay, so now we're down to mostly details other than this little door for the hose. So, got that. And then I'm actually gonna come and do my um, number with my big Sharpie and that's because I also want to come and give it a shadow. And so a shadow is gonna negate any small Sharpie that I did anyway. Okay. All right, I'm gonna do shadow going this way. So if this was my light source, so it'd be on the left side and on the bottom. Left side and on the bottom. There we go. And I'm gonna make this little cutout right here that I wanted. All right, everything else from here is really smaller details that don't have to be the center of attention. So I'm gonna use my thin Sharpie or my pen, whichever one you have handy. As long as it's not a pen that has that kind of gel ink, it's not gonna dry and it's gonna end up smearing on you. That's not ideal. I'm gonna do my little panel. Full of buttons, full of screens, where they can control everything. Mm -hmm. So, we are almost there. The real question now will be, what color is your fire truck going to be? What do they look like in your neighborhood? Okay, guys, it was great to see you. I hope you got your drawing all done, and we'll see you later. Bye.